Christina from Sweet Pea Births. My husband and I teach childbirth classes here in Chandler, Arizona. And I'm joined here today by my friend Jenny. She's an IBCLC here in Tempe, Arizona. She's also a research professor and teaching professor at ASU. So she, if you don't relate her with the breastfeeding, it's because maybe you saw her at school. But anyway, so she is here to answer another one of our Q&A questions with SPB. Uh, and we're focusing on breastfeeding this month since it's National Breastfeeding Month here in the USA. Okay, so today's question, is there anything I can do to make more milk? I get this question a lot um, in prenatal breastfeeding classes. I get it a lot in my office. I think it's something that a lot of people are worried about. Um, I think that there are a lot of products out there and a lot of myths about making more milk that may help some, but don't get to the core of the issue. So um, when we talk about breastfeeding and how to make more milk, the way that that milk is made is dependent on what's called demand and supply. So the more that your baby or your pump or whatever you're using to remove milk demands the milk to come out, the more milk a mom's gonna make. And if a mom isn't pulling the milk out by either a baby who's nursing really well or a pump, um, then it's not gonna matter how much herbs she takes, what lactation cookies she takes or anything else because the body's not gonna get the signal to make more milk. And so if you are struggling with making enough milk, the things that I would say to look for first are, number one, is your baby breastfeeding well? You know, do you have a baby who isn't actually latching well and isn't able to remove that milk appropriately? If your baby's losing weight, um, it could be that the baby is not doing a good job of actually moving that milk rather than you don't have a, a good enough milk supply. Um, and once we get the baby to where he or she is able to move that milk, usually mom's milk supply will go up. Um, in the absence of a baby who's nursing well, we usually recommend that mom start pumping. Um, so if you're having trouble with milk supply, you know, you need to make sure that you're getting all that milk to come out of your body and even that you're stimulating your breast a little bit more um, to make more milk. So before you try any of that other stuff, before you try lactation cookies, before you try um, fenugreek or any of the other herbal mixes or, you know, any, any type of thing, you want to make sure you're getting that milk out. And I would say that if you're struggling with milk supply, the first thing you should do is call a lactation consultant um, to find out what's going on because you might actually be going after something totally different um, and, and, you know, fighting a losing battle by going after it with herbs or, or even, you know, some of these other things. But um, for sure, the first thing to do is to remove the milk. Jenny, thank you so much for answering that question. It was definitely not the answer I expected. So moms, hopefully, you know, that gives you a little encouragement. You know, don't feel like you're not taking enough or eating enough or drinking enough of whatever, you know, your well-meaning friend told you to do. Definitely um, one of the things we talk about a lot in class, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to call a professional. And that's what the IBCLCs are. Like the, way, the way I like to say it is they have a college degree in breastfeeding and lactation. So they are smart, they know what they're doing, they've seen lots of moms and babies. Please come in and get help. Don't beat yourself up or worry about your baby. Just don't worry. Come in and get help. So check the link down in the comments. I have the information to reach the Arizona Breastfeeding Center uh, via phone, email, um, so don't wonder, just ask. We'll see you next week for another installment of Q&A with SPB.